Hello, you're probably here because you want to know how to connect to the Little Big Planet private servers, obviously because you've read the title. Probably wondering how do I connect to them, how do I use them, how do I get to them. Well, that's what I'm going to teach you in today's video. So let's begin. Firstly, you're going to want to go on Google. Your Google is going to obviously look a bit different, but that's pretty obvious. I have something installed to make the Google look like this, but that's not crucial to the steps. It's not really in the steps at all but anyways you're gonna want to type in this it auto appears for me because I obviously have the servers I have this website saved but you're gonna want to type in catbox.pw this thing in the middle I kind of forgot what it's called because I'm stupid but after that in the pw in between the pw and the 160 you're gonna want to put this so catbox.pw160, this thing in the middle. I would tell you what it was. But anyways, once you once you enter this, you should get to this website. It should look exactly like this. It should look exactly like this. Now you're going to want to press login slash register. Once you're to this page, you're going to want to put in username and password. Your username and password have to be the exact same as your PlayStation Network. Can't be a custom username, can't be a custom password, it has to be the exact same as your PlayStation Network account. If you don't feel safe, uh, don't worry, this is obviously safe, but if you don't feel safe, you can make an alt account, but trust me, this, this website is safe. I'm using it. And I haven't had anything happen, so it's completely safe. Anyways, I'm going to show you where you want to go next. So once you've logged in to the website, you, if you're using Catbox, you're going to want to go to the server. If you're using Lighthouse, then you're going to obviously use the LBP Union server. But I'm using Cathouse or Catbox. I just combined Lighthouse and Catbox in the same name. <laughs> I meant to say Catbox. So if you're using Catbox, not Cat House, Catbox, um, you're gonna go to um, uh, resources, um, and then you're gonna want um, Union Patcher. All the links that are used in here will also be in the description in case you don't want to join the server. All of this stuff will be in the description. But you're gonna to want to go to GitHub Union Patcher, which is what is obviously right here, and you're gonna get go to GitHub, and you're gonna get, depending on what you're on, Union Patcher Windows, Union Patcher Linux. You're gonna download whichever one that you're on, Linux, Windows. I'm on Windows, obviously, so I'll download Windows and show you how to use it and everything you're gonna to want to do. Alright, so once you have Union Patcher downloaded, or um, if you don't have a, if you don't know where to find it, you could find it in downloads. I'm not really sure how you use Linux, so I couldn't tell you where you could find this, but uh, in Windows, you're going to go to your downloads, then you can um, right click and press new and then folder. You can literally name it whatever you want. I'll just use Union Patcher. Then you're going to want to place the um, Union Patcher into the new folder that you made. Then open the folder. Now I will leave a link to 7-zip in case you don't have this. And you press extract here. If you don't have 7-zip, I'll leave a um, link to that in the description. Then you're going to press Union Patcher, Union Patcher .gui Windows. And once you have this open, you're going to see file patch, which is for your PS3 or RPC S3. It's easier to use remote patcher, but if you're using RPC S3, then you're going to use this. But if you're using PS3, it's easier to use remote patcher. I wouldn't really recommend this for PS3. So you're going to press remote patcher, and you're going to see all of this. PS3 local IP, server URL, title ID, FTP username, FTP password, 
Now, I'll tell you what all this is. Your PlayStation 3 local IP. Let me tell you how you get that. So, you're going to want to load up your PlayStation 3, alright? So, once you're on your PlayStation 3, you're going to log into the account that you're going to use. Then you're going to want to go to your settings. Then system settings. Then you're going to go all the way down to system information. Now, I'm obviously not going to click on this because I don't want you to know what my IP is. But once you click on system information, you should see your IP. You're going to want to type it into that box. Don't worry, it's safe. This patcher is made by LBP Union. And if you don't trust them, don't worry, it's completely safe. If you're wondering why they need your IP, that's how they can tell which PlayStation to connect to. And also don't forget, you're going to need PlayStation 3 Hen or some sort of custom firmware. This does not work on an original firmware. You're going to need PlayStation 3 Hen or some sort of custom firmware. I use PlayStation 3 Hen. But, once you've got the IP, you can place the IP in here. The, ser the server URL is going to be the pinned comment in the um, description which what you're going to want to do here I can show you what to do so this is the server link I'll have this in the pinned comment in the description in the um, comments and you paste the server URL in here you don't go to the link because it's not a link it's the server URL you're going to paste this into the server URL and then title <coughs> if you use special edition like I do I'll show you what to type but I'm not really sure what you use for the other ones but um if you want to know how to get to it I can show you but I'm not really sure the disc boots for uh or the title IDs for um any of the other games but I can show you how you can find them. So if you don't know how to, um, if you don't know your title ID by the top of your head, which I don't think anyone would, you can go into Multiman and wait for Multiman to load up. Oh, right. Don't forget to enable your hand. You gotta enable hand. Alright, so once you've enabled hand, then you go to multi man and let multi man load. Then you'll see this. Obviously, if you've used Multiman before, I don't need to really tell you. So here, so you go to Dev HDDD or HDD, not not 3Ds, HDD. I'm kind of tired. Sorry for saying a lot of wrong things, but it's Dev HDD zero. You're gonna go there. Then you're gonna, then you're gonna go to game, not games, game. No S, just game. Then you're gonna look for your little big planet um disc uh thing. So if you don't if you're not sure which one it is, you can check every single game file that you have and click on the icon. And once you find Little Big Planet 2, you'll know that you found the right one. And you're gonna copy its um name, its exact name into title ID. And then you should have the title ID, and then it should be able to know which game it needs to patch. Let's move on to the next step. Alright, so once you have title ID, 
you're going to put your PSN username and password in here again. And once you have your PSN username and password and the title ID, your IP or a PlayStation 3's local IP address, the server URL, title ID of your game that you got from Multiman, your PlayStation Network username, your PlayStation Network password, make sure everything is correct, you press patch. You can also revert the eboot if you don't want it anymore, but for now you're going to want to press patch. This is how it's going to patch your game to connect you to the private servers. It's going to patch your game, connect you to the private servers. So let me show you how it works. So you're going to want to open up your Little Big Planet 2 or 1, depending on which game you're using. I'm using 2 because my Little Big Planet 1 broke, so I got to get a new one. But you can use 1 or 2, not sure about 3. But then, oh yeah, you're also going to want to make sure that you're connected to PlayStation Network. You have to be online to use the servers. So you're going to want to make sure you're connected to PlayStation Network before you load up your game. Then, while your game loads up, you're going to want to... You're going to want to go back to the Catbox um, website. Then once you log back into the Catbox website, you're going to sit on this page and wait for authentication while your little big plan is loading up. And, um... Once your authentication page shows a thing saying that um, it detected it, you're going to want to press the green one to automatically approve it every single time you load up Little Big Planet. You won't have to sit back on the authentication page. But if you don't want that and you want to just approve it one time, you can. But I recommend automatically approved IP address because that's a lot easier and then after you approve it you can go back on your little big planet and obviously once you load up you'll be connected but I haven't logged back into PlayStation Network so let me do that real quick and once you load up your little big planet and you're you be connected You'll always you'll also see this screen. This screen right here. You press OK, and then boom, you'll be connected to the Little Big Planet private servers. It's that simple, maybe, unless you don't really understand it. It's not too hard, I would say. It's not too hard, but yeah, Little Big Planet and Little Big Planet PlayStation Three in twenty twenty two. I hope you guys understood the tutorial. If not, I'm sorry if my instructions weren't clear. But if you did, congratulations. You're connected to Catbox or Lighthouse, whatever one you decided to use. I hope that tutorial was easy to follow and enjoyable. Um, yeah, I hope you guys were able to connect. See ya.